Finally, it's the episode you've all been talking about, Mr. Neutron. I thought it wasn't the last one, but it wasn't. It was Hamlet, and the last one was pretty shit. Am I allowed to say that word in the intro? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we can. This one, however, is meant to be very, very good. You told me it was. So I am excited to see it and see if it is very good or if I just didn't like the rubbish episodes. We want the good ones back again. Also, there's a fly in here. So you might see it flying past now and again, but I can't catch it because it flies too high and then I can't get up there. Thumbs up. Where's my thumbs? Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you also like this video. Post notifications if you also like this video. And play! <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm gonna miss this song. <laughs> What's he shouting? Any old metals? I would be right on there grabbing that bazooka. <laughs> Box. <laughs> Box. <laughs> yeah, perfectly ordinary. Can he speak French and German? Like fluently. Mr. Neutron! Hairdressing is very interesting. Very important too. If you don't care for your scalp, you get rabies. Rabies! My husband thinks he is anyway. Nasty little piece of work he is. He doesn't like anyone then. Oh yes, please. Alright, you're a coming little bastard. It's handy for the shop and convenient for the West End. Life going to the West End, I think it's a stinking dump. Stinking dump. <laughs> we all do that. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> Missing? God! Okay! I just saw him. I want three full scale global nuclear alerts. Maybe you should just look for him. Bali business. Infinitely the most dangerous man in the world, he really is, was gathering allies together. Lovely wallpaper. No, I, I didn't want to eat a salad, I wanted to find out about a man called Sam. <laughs> All the Eskimos eat their ears, fish, fish, fish. <laughs> we are not Eskimos. Eskimos. Any of you Eskimos speak English? Yes. Not Eskimos. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what a hen teaser is, I want to know. Hi, I'm Carpenter of the US. Hi. You want Teddy Salad? That's a dog. He had to slim down a one and a half pounds to get into that costume. All of the head was removed apart from the eyes and the brain. Uh. It's incredible. <laughs> He's lying. Sir, Mr. Salad. He's Sir, lying to right. you. And you fell for it. Mr. Neutron is missing. The general says you're the only one who know where to find him. You 
wants to go walk his. Events in the world's capitals are moving fast. Hilarious. They want a full scale with the love. Every truck They're talking. Don't worry about Giuseppe. He's English, really. Just. <laughs> Giuseppe. Only for you and your beautiful companion. He is beautiful. Look, we haven't got much time. He hasn't given me any information yet. He's never going to. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's, it's just a so goddamn painful in here. <laughs> <laughs> they bombed Cairo, Bangkok, Cape Town, Buenos Aires, Hello, Hammersmith. It's just wallpaper in someone's house. I didn't know you were a member of the AA, Mrs. SCUM. SC. SCUM. <laughs> <laughs> the prize is five thousand pounds in cash or as much ice cream as you can eat. Well, you couldn't eat that much ice cream, Mr. Ian. I can eat enormous quantities of ice cream without being sick. <laughs> without being sick. I want you to be my helpmate. As Tarzan had his Jane, as Napoleon had his Josephine, as Frankie Lane had whoever he had. <laughs> whoever he had. But I should be so <laughs> I was in Cairo. I was disguised as a water hydrant. Oh, the dog looks weird now. I know where Neutron is right now. Okay, where is he? Europe. Yes. You want to know where in Europe? Mrs. SCUM's living room. At number 19. <laughs> I will make you the most beautiful woman in the world. But is she not already? <laughs> what the hell is that? You You're awake, get bombed. As Mr. Neutron escaped in time. Well, in fact, what happens is that they are saved by Mr. Neutron's mighty powers. However, the Earth has been blown off its axis, and we can see those very expensive scenes right now. I knew it. These are going to be some of the most expensive and lavish scenes ever filmed by the BBC. And we won't see them. Very expensive sound, expensive visual effects, expensive production assistant, expensive designer. Cheap trick. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Oh God! This week we're going to learn how to saw an alien tree bits. And it's better than mine. Come on, rubbish like that. End horse of the year show. You can afford us another minute, Mr. Cobb. Oh, it's the end. It's the real end. That was so much better. Happy with that one, yes. What, what an episode left, just one, and that's it. Can you believe it? We've went through the whole, whole series of The Flying Circus. This time, two years ago, I didn't even know what Monty Python was. That's so sad. Now anytime I hear Monty Python, I'm like, yes, yes, what is that? I want to hear, do I have something on my I do? What the hell is that? It's only showing up on the camera. I don't see it in real life. Anyway, I really, really liked that episode. It was a good one. I smiled and laughed the whole way through it. That's what I needed. You were right, it was a good one. Okay, I am going to go now. I have a whole day of filming today and it's very exciting. You don't know what I'm filming, but I do. Okay, I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>